Okay, we're talking about organization as a lead producer. If you're the senior producer, you really do have to be organized. And let me say that I believe organization is something in life that you need to have a handle on. Because I can't imagine waking up and going, what am I going to do today? I just can't imagine that and, and just trying to get through my day that way and just going, oh, oh yeah, let me do this. Oh, oh that's going to be fun. I am super efficient and I use my time super efficiently. So every single day I fill out a to-do list, right? Now, <laughs> the story behind the to-do list is this. Years ago, I had a, a, a sheet and I would put these sheets on a clipboard and walk around with that clipboard all day. Then I'd somehow, for some reason, save the sheets, and I had boxes of these sheets that, that I would go through. Um, that changed when I found a printed copy that had to-do lists, and I think I got it at Staples, and it was a, a hardcover book that had to-do lists inside, and it was about 200 pages, and so it lasts for 200 days or more, and I would uh, buy them and fill out those to-do lists. That book went out of print, <laughs> and so I was like, uh, I need my to-do list. So we created our own for filmmaking stuff, and so this is one thing that we sell. I have the link below, but why did we create this? Because I wanted it, because <laughs> I wanted to have a to-do list, and look, it is always within reach. Here it is on my desk, okay? Here's the to-do list for today, okay? This is the to-do list journal for filmmakers, and there's some tips and tricks in there too, but every single day, I'm filling out the to-do list. Every single day, I am writing a path for that day. Now, to take it to the next step, and again, why this is kind of tying back to being a lead producer, there are things that you wanna prioritize. And the way I do it is ones, twos, and threes. I put them in the little checkbox, and a one is, is the big priority, right? It, this is something that's not gonna be easy, it's gotta be done, it's important. Two is right in the middle. Right. And three is the, oh, I got to return something to that store down the street. You know, those threes. And so it's so easy to look at the threes and go, oh, I could just do a bunch of these threes, you know, and that's not good. You really have to focus on the ones and try to get those out of the way and then maybe throw a two in there and then, okay, if there's a three thrown in there. And that's the way I kind of get through the day. But when you're the lead producer on set, you need to be organized on the whole big picture thing. So the key with that would be to get as much organization as possible as far as a flow to your day. And the way I say to do that is to make lists. I use lists for everything, obviously grocery lists, but before I travel and I travel all the time, multiple times per month, I'm in the air. In fact, if I go more than three weeks without flying on a plane, I start freaking out. And uh, But before then, every single time I have a list, especially if I'm going out of the country for more than a week, I have a checklist of everything that I need to prepare, right? every single thing and and those checklists are easy to put together in like your notes of your iphone or whatever smartphone you have and you can make the the checks where you can just click on them and then you can check the boxes that way in the case of the iphone there are little circles and you could check them that way but the key is when you're running the ship people are going to rely on you for organization and i have seen directors and producers that maybe didn't have the talent of some other artists, so to speak, but were extremely organized and efficient and they worked all the time and they continue to work. That almost is more important than the artistic vision, okay? Great to have the artistic vision, but tie that in with efficiency and organizational skills and you will be unstoppable.